Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. On Saturday, February 19, 2022, the NAMAC event in the Netherlands was held again. The previous one was on Saturday, October 16, 2021. So we missed out on the December one, which is traditionally the best one out of all six. In pre-pandemic times, this was a bi-monthly event. Now it just kind of happens whenever the government allows it. So let's see what I got. Only got one loose car for myself. So this is a Corgi Juniors made in Great Britain. Mercedes-Benz 240D. It's a taxi in the uh, kind of German taxi colors. It's got some silver paint on the front and some remnants of red paint in the back. Not sure if that was uh, standard. It came like that or somebody just customized it. I'm not sure. Trailer hitch has broken off unfortunately but it was only two euro and the rest of it you know like the window piece is in mint condition so I uh, decided to uh, buy it anyways. So we got the taxi sign on top which kind of funny it's uh, a cardboard piece that is just uh, sticking through the interior. It is a solution to a problem but you know just not a very elegant one if you ask me. Got suspension of course in these older ones. Still a nice addition to the taxi collection. Then we start with some premium stuff. Everything that uh, we see from now on is uh, carded or boxed. So this is Paul's Model Art Micro Chams. Uh, these are uh, 164 this is the Fiat 500 from 1957 till 1976. Uh, asking price was 10 and I got to sell it down to 7. These are pretty hard to come by, these Fiats. I have the red one. I think there's also a white one and maybe a, a blue one also. I'm not sure. Kind of a baby blue. This is also a pretty uh, strange color but it kind of fits the, the vehicle. So yeah. Um, Whenever I come across these and they are like less than 10 euro, I gotta try and I grab these. So we got a plastic base, it says Micro Champs Fiat 500 164, and then we got a metal body. Got tiny little lensed headlights, it seems. Oh, or they could just be plastic inserts. I'm not sure. Separate chrome bumpers. Lots of details paint wise. Even around the windows. Painted taillights. And a separate chrome bumper again. Got the canvas top open. And uh, as always with the Paul's model art. Very nicely detailed interior, even if it's as tiny as this one. So, yeah, this is really, really cute. Very tiny uh, plastic tires and these uh, chrome hubcaps. Sweet. Then, this green light motor world. American Edition Series 9 Ford Escape in this well, almost baby blue color 5 euro didn't uh, get a discount but that's okay it's a good price um, 2013 copyright not going to open up this one yet because uh, uh, might be going to a friend um, I just have to uh, get confirmation if he has it or not Then another green light special edition country roads series 12 2014 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X 2014 copyright. So this was new back then. Five euro asking price paid four. I pre cut these, kind of makes it easier for filming. He had three of them, I bought two, didn't take the silver one. Uh, so metal on metal, these are 5908, pretty high serial number. 
very nice rims. Got lens to headlights. I'm not sure if the hood opens up on these. I don't think so. Into your looks good. And it's got the painted tail lights. Got some smudging there. I don't know if this comes off or not. I'm not sure. Mm, it might. I'm not going to risk breaking it. So this is the soft top version. And the other one I got is a hard top version from the uh, 70th anniversary Jeep. I don't know if this is a uh, one-off. Not sure, 2015 copyright, 2011 Jeep Wrangler. And this bronze color. So this one has a colored base. 145 is a pretty low number. The wheels are they have some kind of a mist, gray mist on them. The tires, I mean. These rims are not as nice as the previous one. Still has the lensed headlights. Bumper is a little bit different. Since 1941, it says on the back. So this one has a cover on the spare wheel. This one uh, just had a wheel like that. So a little bit different in the back there. And so same in the front with the different style bumper. That makes it cool. These are green lights, all these little differences year by year. I like it when they do that. Okay, so this comes off easily. We can take a look at this interior, which is probably very similar. Similar. There you go. And then found this Maisto 2 car value pack in the Motor Works series. 5 euro paid for. So the Volkswagen 1300 and the Volkswagen Camper. Collect them all. So these were all two packs. You can freeze the frame if you want to see what other ones uh, were available. I only found this one. 2001 copyright They are wedged in there pretty well Sorry for the noise Jeez Okay, there it is very shiny base on this one. So this is obviously obviously a beetle. Got suspension, a nice metallic blue. Got some silver paint on the side. Chrome bumpers part of the base. No paint front and back. And back then Maisto had uh, interiors. Then we got the VW Type 2 T1, VW Camper. No suspension, no interior, but it's got a lot of metal on it, so a nice weight to it. Only side deco also. Staying with VW, found this Welly uh, from uh, Poland. Uh, so Dromader is the uh, Polish importer of Welly. Two euro I paid. That's an okay price. I'm happy to pay that. Where's my little? There you go. 
Oh, forgot the other knife to get it open without ripping it. Here's a bigger sticker from uh, from Poland on the back. Did not have this black version. Very dusty. Jeez. Yeah, that's the downside with welly packagings. Uh, cars can get really dusty inside them. These window boxes. So yeah, you know, I don't like you guys to have to watch dirty cars. So. Let's clean it off. Volkswagen Beetle, it says on the plastic base. These are vinyl tires, so they got tread on them. It's got the chrome discs. VW, VW Beetle on the license plate, that's interesting. I should check if uh, my other colors have that. The headlights, these little, little lights on the fenders, even the uh, this chrome piece here with the VW logo, the wipers all done, door handle in chrome, tail lights, the license plate, the handle for the engine cover, the model type. Wow, this is really nicely done. These little steps here, part of the plastic base. Yeah. I wonder if these uh, Polish ones have more details than uh, and models for other regions and separate chrome bumpers by the way front and back I like that a lot I should check my other ones another welly in the French packaging 2 euro again happily paid that um, I've been to France many times looking for die cast I've never seen this one this, I think, is a uh, Chevy Tahoe in the police livery. So, uh, that's a great find. You don't get a lot of American welly here. Let's see if I was correct. Yeah, 2008 Chevrolet Tahoe. So, they always have these uh, stickers on the base from the French importer. So again, a little bit dusty. So you get a almost completely detailed front end with the headlights, the uh, Chevy bow tie, and uh, silver around the grille. You get the uh, police emblems on the side on the hood. You get the tail lights that wrap around. By the way, the uh, police emblem the Chevy bow tie and then I'm not sure what that says maybe on the big screen you can read that not sure what that says get the third brake light there on top and you get a separate piece for the light bar in the two colors two tone so yeah this is definitely definitely worth the money that's a lot of bang for your buck get the cup holders in the middle there very important for a police car no computer or anything and it's got the extra seats in the back even yeah this is a really cool casting love it very pleased with it then I found another one of these a Gerolsteiner um, kind of advertising ones so this is the Fiat Stilo station wagon Six euro, I paid three. Service car of Team Gerolsteiner. So this uh, would have been uh, a team car in the Tour de France. Black Art Creative. So. I found the Fiat Idea also on uh, Namak some time ago. They also had that one, but of 
course I already had it so did not need it Fiat Stilo Multiwagon is the official name by BACDE Europe so we got authentic rims with uh, they are completely plastic wheels we got lensed headlights separate piece for the grill Got a nice looking interior, and then we got lensed tail lights. Yeah, really pleased to have this. Found this Ford Transit in a uh, kind of a Ford dealership box, it seems. Ford new generation Ford Transit. 5 euro asking price, ended up paying 4. This is by Corgi, scale 164 it says, made in China, 2002 copyright. So it's definitely a bigger box than usual, definitely higher the in size. Very tight in there, let's see. I'm mm, just going to have to try to roll it out, I think, now. Uh, or not. Mm, how does this work? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's taped up here, and that's why it won't come out. Let's see if the other side will go easier. Because I'll take off the tape now. It's the same problem. It's also taped up. So, let's see. I'd have to cut it open. Some of these things are packaged as if they were meant to never be taken out. Okay, this is very heavy. It's got a plastic base that just says Corgi and Ford Transit. Plastic wheels, no suspension, but then an all metal body with lensed headlights. Ford logo on the hood or bonnet. Bestell Auto van het Jaar. This, uh, so this is a van of the year in 2002. Ford Transit. Ford logo on the back. Some black paint around the windows. Interior wise. Right hand drive. Three seater. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Nothing spectacular, but that's a nice. Oh, it's got windows in the back. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing in there. Cool. Staying with vans. This, the next four all came from the same seller. A nice elderly gentleman that uh, had a bunch of these. Majorette and mostly Nora for sale and he had a few of these uh, little vans that were very interesting to me this is a Majorette Renault Express and the uh, French Postal Services livery this is on a cut card so this is the bottom part and there should be a part on top of that he was asking three euro and uh, I made a deal he was willing to make a deal so I ended up paying Two euro and thirty-one cents for this. So this is a metal on metal. It's made in Thailand, but that's okay. Renault Express suspension. So it says La Poste on the three sides. It's got the plastic opening doors. That's uh, okay. I'm not uh, kind of stuck together sometimes they are you see that middle part there often they are connected there and then you can't open it but this uh, this wasn't so nice uh, loading bay in the back with the floor plastic doors maybe I should close this one first I'm not sure well okay to your wise 
it's going to be okay too. Got the lens headlights, part of the uh, window piece. I've got um, two Belgian versions that I got from uh, Rudy Munais. So one day I will put them uh, together. Also from the uh, French Postal Services, but this is a Norev in a uh, French Postal Services box. So these might have been sold at uh, post offices, who knows. Same price as the Majorette. This is a more modern version of such a postal van. A Renault Kangoo, that's what they are called nowadays. Not express anymore, plastic base, no suspension. La Poste, and here the uh, French website. Fence headlights. Plastic bumper part of the base, probably. Or the interior. I think it's the interior. Got the sliding door. There you go. So, again, nice loading area. Website on this side, too. Tail lights wrap around. It's got the double doors in the back. Sometimes uh, this casting has a hatch in the back. Or lift gate. Got the Kangu name on the left, and then what does it say on the bottom here? Does it say Kangu again, or what is that? No, Renault. Okay. Cool. So, starting to have a nice little French Postal Services collection here. And then in the Renault Toys packaging. We got a Renault Master in a tow truck version. I did not have an example of this yet. These were a little bit more expensive, but I ended up paying a little less also. Jouet Renault since 1934. It's kind of strange. It's in French first and then in English after that. Okay. A partir de trois ans. So uh, starting from three years old. So for kids older than three. The box is kind of coming apart, you know. Blue is coming undone. That's okay. Seems like we have a little leaflet here. The uh, collection of little cars, it says here in French. Okay, so we got the Clio, also in the postal livery. Look at that. Still need to find that one. And the Renault Service one for the dealerships. Hmm, I want to get that one too. Same with this one. Also a uh, roadside assistance one. And a police version of the uh, Scenic RX4, the 4x4 version. That little uh, minivan with the uh, rucksack on the back. Scenic, also got a police livery one, Espace and a Duracell advertising one and the uh, ambulance. Merchandise, that's the word I was looking for, Duracell merchandise. Valsatis, and that's an interesting vehicle to have. The Laguna Estate, We've got a police version I believe, and this is a fire department one. Smarties merchandise, the uh, Laguna Berline, the kind of the hatchback, gendarmerie, and uh, what's this? I can't read that. The blue one, also merch. The uh, Renault service vehicle. It doesn't have a light bar. Less interesting. And then this one, some. Uh, Kit stuff, I think. The Megane Coupe. Megane Coupe Cabriolet. Petit Bateau and Galak merchandising. And the Megane Coupe Cabriolet Vacances. Holiday. Got the bike on the back. A friend of mine had this one for sale some time ago. Didn't want to spend the 5 euro, but you know. In hindsight, should I bought it. This one's got the surfboards. 
these two are pretty cool not a fan of accessories but these are interesting and then get the twingo and a few silly colors kangu phase two so i still need to find this uh i don't know assistance one the ex no the kangu sorry i was going to say the express well all three of these are interesting um kind of a roads roadworks one in orange and then the uh, fire department one so this is a phase two kangu we got the master so i bought this one and also got this one but not the uh, fruit and veggies one and this um, fire engine version i might have not sure the modus a little minivan some uh, flower power version here on the bottom and there was a little uh, carry case apparently i've never seen that some other models and a little free pack fancy packaging of the uh, Renault Sport and the little um, assistance vehicles. Yeah, the Twingo is pretty cool like that. The ambulance, a little garage, and a suitcase. Cool stuff. Get back in there. Okay, so this is metal on metal like they were back in the day. Renault Master 2003 suspension oh yeah so when this was in the packaging I thought well the bed is very short how I'm going to fit a car on there but you see the French they always find solutions so you got this plastic part in there that slides back and that way let's take the um, the Kangoo because it's a Norf that way you can fit something on there that's brilliant and then it also goes up and you can also have it drive off of there that's pretty sweet so except for this plastic part that uh, slides everything else is metal the bed is metal the base is metal the cabin is metal it's got a separate piece for the light bar it's got lens headlights it's got the uh, Renault assistance telephone number on the sides and on the the hood or bonnet a metal bumper painted flat black interior is okay looking and then even got uh, some details on the bumper in the back that's nice very pleased with this one never seen it before and it was Very pleased to be able to grab that. So, did, definitely did find some uh, some nice stuff on this uh, this event. Again, Renault Toys packaging, same price as the uh, tow truck, the flatbed. This is so big it kind of fills the whole box so there's just a little insert on top this is a moving truck again first time I've seen it did not have an example of it got the same base so it's got the same suspension it's what you see is red is metal uh, except for this I think this is plastic yeah this uh, kind of wind deflector is plastic uh, it's got the same details as the other one when it comes to the cabin I mean déménagement Demi means uh, moving so it's a moving truck got the plastic box with opening doors First close the left one and then the right one and it's got the same details on the bumper yeah that's really cool and then I found this FC so FC toys was made in Holland um, 
doesn't have a lot of information on the card, so no way of telling how old this is. Just like these older Norevs, by the way. Two euro, that's a fair price. Uh, the blister has come undone mostly. It's taped up here, and this is the only part that has the original glue. So that's okay. I mean, loose, this would have cost uh, pretty much the same, or even more. It's a little dirty because of that uh, package being open. So this is metal on metal Mercedes FC Holland scale 1 to 90. Plastic wheels. So we've got a metal cabin, metal chassis. Uh, this grill is probably part of the base and clips into the body to keep it together. No dashboard nor steering wheel, just a bench seat. The box is plastic. It opens up. Like so. So this is uh, advertising for Smiths and um, these are called lace nowadays. Like in uh, potato chips lace. And this here says Zoetjes. And that is typically a Dutch, um, typically for the Dutch to um, kind of describe salty snacks. Um, Pretzels, for instance, is how you could translate this. Us uh, Dutch-speaking Belgians, we don't use this uh, this word to describe salty snacks. So this is typically uh, for the people in the Netherlands and Holland. But yeah, again, you can only find this basically in Holland, I think. So again, great find. Also found this Coca-Cola truck. Magic Christmas, Christmas, and then in German it says Sammel Edition 2003. So Collector Edition 2003, number one of three. Only two euros, so I had to pick it up. Not much on the back except for uh, the company that uh, probably had these made for them. Some German explanation or uh, info on Coca-Cola. This one, this side is already coming undone, so let's open it. This side. The rest of the glue is still pretty good, I must say. So there's a lot of these German uh, merchandising trucks. Um, to be found, uh, but this is definitely one of the most interesting ones with the, the Coca-Cola truck, which we sometimes see appear here too. Got the apparently rubber tires because this one's cracked, dried out. Uh, I'm just going to test if it's rubber. Well, no, it's plastic, so it's kind of strange that this uh, this is cracked. This one's cracked too, by the way. That ones look fine. So let's see. Uh, we can just detach this. Yeah, like that. So nothing information-wise on the base. Center part is metal. More shiny parts. Got the spare wheel there. Uh, nothing detail-wise on the back, on the side. It's got. Uh, seems to be a sticker. With the cola Coca-Cola livery. Nice shiny chrome rims. It's the same on both sides. And then the truck has a, a metal base and a metal cabin. And then there's a plastic piece inside of the metal base to hold the axles. Just says made in China. Lots of chrome on it for the fuel tanks. And then the steps, and then don't know what this is. Are these the air tanks? Exhausts. Some silver paint for the grill. Yeah, that's a nice one. Coffee in Haltig 
means uh, it's got the caffeine in it. And then to my other surprise, I found uh, Road Champs from the Deluxe series. This uh, American school bus. So I asked the seller, well, how much is it? And uh, he asked me, how much do you want to pay for it? So I was like, uh, three euro? And he said, okay, it's yours. I was like, wow, that's really little money. This is metal on metal. 1996 copyright. Not going to open it now, going to open it in the uh, bus video. Apparently, it comes from uh, some Asian market. Uh, really would love to uh, find this Winnebago, that's pretty awesome. And then the rollback carrier, that's that would be a sweet find too. So, yeah, the only other one I got from this uh, series is the Mercedes limousine. Then we get to Hot Wheels. So this German seller had Hot Wheels for sale for two euro and um, Hot Wheels and Matchbox. And if you bought six, you only paid 10 euro. So that comes down to one euro and 67 cents. So I bought four Hot Wheels and two Matchbox from 2022. Um, this is the 94 Bugatti EB110. SS. It's got a little paint chip in the front. As I've said before, white and yellow paints are very prone to chipping. And I see, I saw that, but you know, it's probably the only chance I will have to get an example of this casting. So um, I took that chance. You can see 2022 Hot Wheels Turbo Series. Nice red interior, black rims. So this is a new casting for 2020. No, sorry, it was new in 2021 in blue. Uh, don't have that one. It's got the lens headlights, the Bugatti logo on the front. And then nicely detailed in the back. Yeah, it's very nice. Love it. Very happy to have this. Finally, the McLaren F1 GTR Retro Racer Series. Nice teal color, red rims. These are the first 2022 cars I've bought. I've gotten a few as a gift from my friend JK. These are the first ones I bought myself. Porsche 935. Hot Wheels Turbo Series. This is definitely a new casting. 2021 copyright. So we get deco on top and on the sides. Completely, well, mostly plastic back end that's kind of disappointing at least you still have some metal in the front like the escape hatch the Subaru WRX STI the hatchbacks series nice metal flake dark blue then we got this kind of uh, 80s or 90s neon deco, it's pretty funny. Black rims. Whoops. Then we get to 2021. This is a 65 Ford Galaxy, the uh, treasure hunt. This was a gift from uh, Diecast Dude. Um, it's got the dark chrome base you can see 2021 seller was asking five euro i think that's a bit steep for an american car definitely 
not a lot of fans for um, for American stuff. Sorry about that. Um, so we get side deco and top deco. You can see the Circle Flame logo on both sides. 65 Ford Gal Galaxy 500. It's got a 21 on the roof probably for 2021 the year. Then we got the Toyota 2000 GT. So the rest of the stuff I got from Blondie. So as I've explained before, Blondie has a table where she has the uh, the wanted stuff, the, the popular stuff that she sells for quite a lot of money. And then she has the, the totes, the, the bins uh, that she dumps the cars in that are less popular uh, and has you know, great prices on these uh, overall. And um, I think she gets a lot of stuff from the United States because uh, she's got a lot of long cards um, and some Walmart stuff too. So uh, maybe she, she buys overstock from Walmart. I don't know. Not sure. So from the um, two Euro bins, I got this Toyota 2000 GT Tokyo 2020. That was uh, postponed to 2021. So this is a 2021 release. Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Or this might have been a 2020 release actually. Not sure. Anyways. They postponed the Olympic Games, but they might not have postponed the uh, Hot Wheels that were set to uh, be released then. A little bit of uh, dirt on the roof there. Need to clean that off. So they got the lensed headlights. This is a pretty cool casting. It's got these little rear view mirrors. Got a dark red interior. Little gold ring on the steelies. I was really surprised to find this. This is a Zamek from 2020. It was also in the uh, two euro bin. Seems to have lost the sticker. Um, so American vehicles are so unpopular that nobody even took the uh, Zamek. I don't collect this 1970 Dodge Power Wagon, so I'm not going to open it. Uh, I might uh, please someone else with it. Maybe uh, Daika's dude wants it. But you know, I'm not going to leave it behind. You know, we don't get this kind of stuff here normally. Definitely not for two euro. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely grabbing it. You can always please someone else with it, right? Pagani Wira for only one euro on the long card. This is a 2019 release. Missed out on this one uh, in. Uh, Germany when I was looking for a diecast over there got a McLaren P1 in yellow this is from the exhaustic series 2016 also one euro I'm going to keep this card for the uh, hybrid and electric cars video the uh, SRT Viper GTS R this was a new model in 2015 one euro also nice silver color cool and staying with Dodge Viper this is the Dodge Viper RT10. This uh, was in the 50th anniversary throwback series. Also only one euro. This was uh, from 2018. 
representing the 90s. So white exterior, red interior, red rims, Viper RT10 on the side. Here we got another McLaren P1 from the Exotics series, 2019 Walmart series. These were made in Thailand, the uh, Matchbox factory. I only got the uh, Porsche 934 Turbo R RSR, that was also a gift from Diecast Dude. Uh, this was 2 euro. Um, great set, I like all of these, every single one of them. Forza Horizon. 96 Nissan 180SX Type X 2019 Walmart also Matchbox Factory 2 Euro also don't have any of the other ones either and again would like all of them maybe I can find them in the future from Blondie who knows but I think uh, some of these uh, were on the expensive table definitely might find the Shelby Xbox on the front and then Forza Horizon 4 on the sides. Cool casting. Nissan Fair Lady Z from the Hot Wheels Police series from 2020. I got these middle ones from uh, David Johns of Twice Diecast on YouTube. Found this one previously also in a uh, bin uh, from Blondie. So now I got this one, and then of course this is the usual suspect, so I'll never find that. Got the blue windows, but no light bar. Got a little bit of black paint on the front here with a kind of a shower star. Then some Japanese on the side, which probably says police in Japanese. And it's got some uh, on the back here too. Cool. Black Steelies. McLaren Senna in the quarter mile final set. Again, a great set. 2021 set. This was 2 euro. Uh, again, I like uh, all of these. Well, Dodge Challenger is uh, my least favorite, but you know, wouldn't mind having it. Uh, enamel yellow McLaren on the front here some black paint here in the front classic roof and get some details in the back that's nice yeah cool found a few Hot Wheels premium items this is uh, from Fast and Furious Fast Stars the W Motors Lycan Hypersport. Pretty cool model. I'm very pleased to uh, be able to grab it. This is from my favorite German seller who has uh, some Hot Wheels Premium for only 5 euro and this set was uh, one of those. So, um, And I also got the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. Also for 5 euro, so the only other one I would have liked from the set was maybe this uh, green one. But yeah, I might have it already in another set, maybe it's a re-release. This is an absolute beast. This is fantastic. Love it. So good. And this is more like, um, well, it's also Hot Wheels Premium. More on the uh, advertising series. Custom 77 Dodge Van, also 5 Euro. This was this one was from uh, Blondie, I believe. Great set, I like everything in there. But of course, 
these three would have been on the expensive table definitely uh, maybe not the Land Rover but these two definitely and then we get to Matchbox 2022 release 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata not a fan of the side deco should have had just the front deco like it has and the rear deco like it doesn't have gray interior that looks okay gray rims too just too uh, hot wheelsy the side deco doesn't need that let's keep that for hot wheels and the 2011 mini countryman these were pretty much the only matchbox he had well new ones at least that German seller so plastic top blue metal body gray base details front and back just how we like it then I also found a few old ones from Blondie Dodge Challenger in kind of a gunmetal gray, only one euro. Jeez, not going to leave that behind. That's awesome. This is probably the best version I have of this. Might be even better than the gold one I found in the nine pack. So nicely detailed in the back and in the front. Yeah, very cool. And one of these Port Shelby GT500s I was missing. I have a lot, but i um, still missing a few. And this is one of them, only one euro again. So silver with the blue stripe, blue, blue racing stripes and the black interior. Nice steering wheel and interior. Not so detail in there. You know, like it was back then. No details front and back, but you know, it's got a lot of casting details, so that's good too. It's not a blob, it's got the side mirrors that are part of the window piece. Good one. Then I found part of the Matchbox uh, series from 2020, also from Blondie. They were two euro each. Um, so just recently I found number one of 12 the uh, 2019 Ford Mustang convertible so I showed that in a previous video a nice one that's kind of not like red or maroonish that's number one number two is this 93 Ford Mustang LX SSP so paid pretty much the same price as I did for the uh, the other one I found last time or I ordered last time here's the the first wave of this Mustang series Texas Department of Public Safety so this is licensed state trooper all white on top to reflect the Sun Got the lens headlights and the uh, light bar part of the window piece let's put them in the back there as Ronnie asked then number three I don't have it's the uh, 68 Mustang custom Mustanger in gray so I have the Zamek version but uh, there's also a gray version I don't know if it was there and because um, I didn't know about the gray version uh, so I might have missed it Number four is the 68 Mustang GTCS in Metal Flake Blue. Very sad I missed that one. Number five of 12 is the 65 Mustang GT in white with gold racing stripes. Didn't find that one either. I do have this um, Metal Flake white one with the red stripes. So that's kind of the model uh, that uh, it is. Uh, might have been a non-Metal Flake white with gold stripes. I'm not sure. So maybe I can find it next time. 
then number six of twelve this one 2019 Ford Mustang Coupe it's nice green color so this uh, was the first release of this casting gold rims got the details in the back pony on the license plate and details in the front gray interior that's a really nice one he stay there it doesn't want to stay does he number seven is the Shelby GT500 in silver that is identical to the 2013 release so I have the 2013 release so I'll show you that one so same as the other silver one but with red interior and red racing stripes then number eight of twelve is the 1968 uh, Mustanger Zamac so already had that from uh, I think a five pack and a nine pack or it wasn't several releases it's a nice cool one but you know they don't have to put it in three different uh, releases right just my opinion then number nine of twelve the 93 Mustang LX SSP which is identical to the first release of 2014 so I have that one so I didn't get the uh, Mustang series one which is pretty much identical highway patrol livery then number 10 of 12 is the 1968 Mustang GT California special in metal flake gold this is the second uh, wave, by the way. Oh, that's very nice. Ooh, should have gotten a better version because this has some uh, packaging rub on the roof. That's a bummer. Got the chrome interior for the chrome front end and back end. Got the matching base to go with the gold. That's a really great casting. I really like it. Number 11 of 12, 2019 Ford Mustang Coupe in orange. Same details as the uh, green one, tempo wise. Also got a gray interior, but got the silver rims. And then the last one, number 12 of 12, 1965 Ford Mustang GT in red. So same model as that white one, different color. With the silver Go Faster stripes. Got the gray bumpers part of the interior. Not their best Mustang casting. This fastback looks a bit, uh, a bit the roof line is a bit strange they've done better and then I got me the last five pack I needed for the 2020 five packs video I've seen it at Namak before for 10 euro didn't want to spend that kind of money last year but you know we're already 2022 this is a 2020 five pack it's not in stores anymore I've never seen it in store and uh, yeah it was very popular possibly because of this one being in there so it got gobbled up this highway speeders one so um, yeah just uh, bit the bullet and uh, paid 10 euro for it that's uh, yeah one of the most expensive five packs I've ever bought I think anyways that's okay it's a good one and I also got a few of these premium matchbox ones this uh, is a 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX only five euro so I was not going to leave that behind this one I got for my buddy Dano at uh, Roverland on YouTube so this is the one I got this one I found previously locally um, for relatively cheap same with this one this one I don't have but no, it's an old pickup truck 
not that interesting for me although I might probably pick it up for this kind of money or maybe a little bit cheaper preferably so this casting has two interior variations this one is the one with the I don't know if I will be able to show you this is the one with the um, five-point harness on the driver's seat right-hand drive uh, the variation is without the harness uh, at least the mainline ones had uh, had that uh, variation so I'm guessing this one also had it so you got the chrome plastic base you got the rubber tires real rider style wheels these little mirrors on the, the front fenders like the Toyota has this one I mean Hot Wheels that's always a cool feature at the yellow headlights so full deco all around this has GNC Japan nostalgic club I think it says it means not 100% sure oh nostalgic car it is yeah not club Dirk Schleuer is the, um, the organizer of the uh, German toy fair I believe and Cooper I don't know who he is 2020 ambassadors classic so yeah Dirk Schleuer is an ambassador Matchbox ambassador um, and uh, Mr. Cooper probably also but I don't know who he is exhaust systems not sure oh no diesel on the back sorry no full deco my bad but still a nice one And this one, like I mentioned just now, I already have. Well, this one was a freebie. So when I bought all that stuff from uh, Blondie, her husband said, you can pick one for free. Uh, I wasn't sure if I had this at that time. Yeah, I was uh, in doubt if it was this version. I knew I had a police one, but I was in doubt if it was this version or not. So I picked it should have picked a uh, moving parts one those were also in the five euro bin I'm not paying five euro for a moving parts vehicle but there were some nice ones in there should have picked one of those anyways 2006 Ford Crown Victoria Police so now I have an extra one also got me an extra one of this Volvo V60 wagon just because you can never have enough Volvos This one I did not have already, 1962 Willys Jeep Wagon. This is a 2020 copyright. So I've got the moving parts version. And now I've got this premium one. Chrome base, you got the chrome bumpers front and back. Nice blue color, it's got the wood grain on the sides. It says something on the back that I have a hard time reading but maybe on a big screen you can read that I love and then I'm not sure what it says so those who watch on a big screen can read that probably let's see if I can find a way to open the doors because these are kind of hard to open we know that that's already established by many You go they don't open very far I think if you put a nail in the window and then a nail on the door you kind of can open them there's no back seats in there but it's a cool model wheels are maybe a bit too shiny but I like the the style of the wheels of course rubber tires you know real rider style wheels 
By the way, they don't all have opening parts. This one does not have opening parts. 2019 Ford Ranger. Don't have this one either. It's more, a little bit more fancy packaging. True grip tires is what they call them, not uh, real riders, by the way. Five euro, these were all. Some I got from uh, my favorite German seller and some I got from Blondie. So we got a old metal bed, by the way. That's interesting. Again, those true grip tires, they look pretty good on this. This one has two opening parts, so it opens up in the front. Okay, no details on there, like they do on the Camaro sometimes. Got um, This one's got full deco, yeah, it definitely does. And it also opens up in the back. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Sweet! Oh yeah, opening parts on display. Then the 2004 Honda S2000. Number 14 of 20. The white rims mm, could have been better. Got the gray base, black interior. It's got an okay looking steering wheel actually. It's kind of oversized, but it's got some, you know, hint of a, of a proper steering wheel. It's not open between the spokes, but I mean, there's an effort there, you know, I can appreciate that. This is a Honda license plate. Tail lights, Honda badge, lens headlights, Honda badge in the front. Yeah, this is a very good model. It's got an opening uh, hood or bonnet. I'm just not sure if I want to open it because uh, they often chip here in that corner. So if it has some resistance, I'm kind of afraid of opening it because of that. But they seem to have fixed that issue. Oh, look at that. Lots of detail underneath there. You can see the VTEC, Honda VTEC. Name on there, on the engine cover. That's awesome. Sweet. I love that. Yeah. That's cool. See? That's value for money right there. And then we end with a convoy. The big rigs are back. I did not have an example of this container flatbed trailer. This was the only one this seller had and he was asking only 6 euro. Which is a good price because the other ones I paid more than 10 euro for. This has a 2006 copyright. And this one is also one I don't have. It, uh, I don't know what stuff is on there on the back. But it's got, it's got the same type of trailer so I don't really need to have it but, you know if I ever find it probably will pick it up so let's take a look so let's see okay these have slots that uh, they fit in that's interesting so we got a, um, what you see is silver is metal, so it is quite a weighty piece, flatbed trailer it says here. So this was new then, because it's got a 2006 copyright, got a plastic insert to hold down the wheels, got a little bit of detail in the back but not painted, got a little box here on the side to put some uh, straps in there and stuff nice wheels so these are plastic containers that seem to be open opening sorry yes oh we open like that that's interesting did not expect that and they are stackable because they got these slots in there so you can actually put them on top of one another like that that's cool and here we got the slots in the 
the trailer. So we can also do like this, but you know, kind of dangerous for driving under a bridge, right? And then we got the kind of generic tractor cab that uh, I've shown a bunch of in uh, my previous one of my previous videos where I showed a lot of convoy stuff and this kind of oh yeah so you put it in there it's a very shiny uh, hitch by the way put it in there and then you put it pull it backwards and it kind of yeah stays in there there's some movement on on there but that's okay Works very well. Thanks for watching. Bye.